You're right. Uh, in this little green thing here, I've got something called shell light or firelight. This is used for lighting fires. The red thing next to it. This is a fire extinguisher. This is used for extinguishing fires. Thank God somebody's paying attention. There's going to be a test at the end of this. Now, I'm going to put the fire extinguisher down next to the amplifier. If at any point during the show I turn orange and start screaming, help. It's not a planned bit. All right, here we go. I'm going to put a little bit of early burning stuff onto the sparky boomstick and start up the show. Watch. Start every show with a little bit of fire. Quick public service announcement, kids. If you are feeling a fire torch, make sure you hold the wick below the water line till all the bubbles have stopped, just like drowning a toddler. That's a good joke, I don't care. All right, hi guys, just about to start up. There we go. That should be just about enough. I'm gonna put that down there, I'm gonna put the rest of the fuel away just so everything is as safe as it possibly can be when you're about to start a fire. Hi guys, you alright? And then I start up the show. Here we go. Pop that down there. Can you take a few steps back if that's alright? I'm just about to start the fire. Don't want your nice white tracksuit to go up in flames. Alright, here we go. Showtime, I'm going to start the show. Really stupid, dangerous show, kids. Come and watch the funny white boy die. <laughs> It'll happen eventually. Imagine if it was today, right? Really sad. All right, here we go. Start up the show with a little bit of fire. Watch. Fire. Fire. There you go. There's a little bit of fire. You guys are look. You guys see my scientific wave starting up a street show. Works 100% of the time. 70% of the time. It's called Friday Maths. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw this uh, rope out. This is a bit of social psychology. Any psych students here? Nah, of course not, they all got friends, haven't they? Watch. I'm going to throw this rope out. I'm going to turn one end of the rope into a kind of loop or lasso. Just like this. I'm going to stand back there, I'm just going to whistle at that for less than 10 seconds and for no reason at all, loads of people stop and watch an idiot whistle at rope. I don't know why they do it, I just know they do. In the next 10 seconds, you guys count the number of people that stop and watch this lunacy, and then we start the danger show. Here we go. Watch. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> this is my job. It's stupid, but it's mine. All right, I reckon this is just about enough people. I just need one more thing to help me start off. Hi there. What's your name? Sorry? Daisy? Daisy, do me a big favor. My hands are up. You see the loop? Step in the loop, Daisy. It's magic. Awesome. Daisy, look around. Not a single adult stopped me. <laughs> Magic! <laughs> Daisy, you are in the loop. Do me a massive favor. Step out. Good girl. Daisy, in. <laughs> out. Shake it all about. <laughs> it's cute. Daisy, in one more time. Awesome. Showtime. I'm going to start the show. Daisy, stay exactly where you are. Quick five minute danger show. You guys want to see a danger show? Say yeah. That was impressive, we'll try that one again. Say yeah! Yeah! Much better, all right, I'm gonna throw this out. Daisy, you take two steps back. I'm gonna throw this out, I'm not allowed to hit another kid. No, it's happened, I was dressed as Mickey Mouse, it was really awkward. Here we go. Whoop. There we go, awesome. Daisy, you come stand right here, toes on the rope. Excellent, you stay there, right there. Daisy, really quick, did you have a family or are you feral? You got, you got a family. Wait, who owns this child? Are you mum? Awesome. Can you come and stand next to Daisy? Because at the minute this is a kidnapping. <laughs> you stand right there. Yep, bring the other one. Awesome. Actually, if you stand a little closer, it looks like you love her. Really cool. What we're going to do, we're about to start up the five minute danger show. I'm not allowed to block up the entire street, so I need to move people in. This is the second bit of psychology. We stand here and look this way for just a second, and eventually all of these beautiful people figure it out and they come and join us. Going 
one smart one. Eventually, all of these beautiful people figure it out and come and join us. Thanks, buddy. I'm aware I've been doing this for a while. You know I know what I'm doing. We'll try this one last time. Sometimes it takes three times to get everyone in. Kids don't do drugs. <laughs> Hi! I don't know who lied to you. You are all beautiful people. Come and join us. It's actually part of Newcastle City Bylaws. So I'm not allowed to block up the street. If you guys over here come right in at the edge of that rope, just so nobody cycles through, you are now entering a no-cycle zone. Find up at £5,000 payable directly to the man with the green beard. That'll work one day. If you guys can do me a massive favour, come and stand with your buddy if that's alright, just so it looks more like a show, less like a series of terrible life choices. If you can do me a massive favour as well, if you can move in a little bit closer up to there. Awesome, hi, welcome, just about to start the show. Guys in the back, we're not starting a cult or a religion. You can come and join us, I promise I won't talk about God. Are you guys okay? Are you guys alright? I've just never seen a boyfriend look more like a hostage. Are you safe? Has she stolen you? Just checking. All right. Hi, you are currently at the back. You're welcome to stay where you are. Kids, I'll say it again. Don't do drugs. <laughs> oh, good, he's on the phone. Can I talk? Can I? Can, I, can I talk? Can I talk? You'll get the phone straight back. Can I talk? Oh, no, it's not even a phone call. You were bullshitting me. Great. Awesome. That's really nice. I want you guys to uh, stop and watch the show because you guys seem cool, but I need you round to the side because at the back, all you're going to see is my arse wiggling from side to side. <laughs> like you putting your phone in your pocket playing billiards. That's adorable. <laughs> so, oh, is that what he was doing? For OnlyFans or for YouTube? I just want to know how much to get paid. All right. Going to start my show with all the nice, positive energy. Hello. Hello. Oh, we'll start it like that. Let's try that one again. Hello. You guys were great. You guys. Shit. We're going to start off. My name is Mr. Freak. I am a professional street performer. Yay! Thanks. It's like the love I never got from my dad. If you guys come in a little bit, it means nobody's going to walk in front of you. Awesome. I'm going to pop these back over here. You guys are going to see the world's oldest danger stunt. It's called the Walk of Death. Now, to be able to do the Walk of Death, I need the help of a nice, tall, brave gentleman, preferably wearing all black apart from his shoes, holding a small camera, looking desperately like he doesn't want to be here anymore. Hi there, what's your name? Terry. Terry, awesome, yeah, hand over the valuables. Terry, come and stand over here. Ladies and gentlemen, big round applause for Terry! Terry! Wow. <laughs> that's good, that's good. If you guys can do me a massive favour, just so we don't, can you curve round and start forming up a little side wall over here? Thank you very much. Terry, what do you do for a living? Antique You're an antique dealer, not a doctor. Can you look at this rash anyway? Okay, you're absolutely fine. Terry, you're going to get the best view in the world for the world famous walk of death. Have you ever seen the world famous walk of death? No. You know what that means? It's not that world famous. It's absolutely fine. This stunt is well over 2,000 years old, which means it's an antique. Should know that. What are you going to get? You're going to bet the best view in the world for the world famous Walk of Death. You stay there, I'll show you. Watch. Whoop. good it's not panto but I appreciate that you're drunk and you're here Terry sit down on the towel sit down on the towel Terry I love that you were standing there like it was gonna make a dog appear if you can face towards the box that would be amazing <laughs> I know look at you having to do a workout look at you getting all comfortable you get nice and comfortable I do have to do these safety checks if you guys are watching can I get you in a couple more features so people can get past without instruct uh, obstructing your view perfect you guys as well, just two more feet in if that's all right. Thank you very much. Terry, real quick safety checks, I have to do these, all right? You are over 18, yes? yes. Good, you are sober, yes? yes? A little bit more hesitant on that one, that's fine. You have more than 20 pounds in your wallet, yes? Nope. All right. <laughs> if you ever wanted out of a street show, those were the moments to say no, as far as I'm concerned, you've signed your own death warrant. Welcome to the show, Terry. What Terry is going to do, he's going to help me out with the world famous walk of death. Before we do that, I need to turn this crowd into an audience. Key distinction.
by the way, I know we are small, but if we all join in, it doesn't feel stupid. A crowd is a group of people facing the same way, with their arms crossed, looking miserable. Yeah, I saw you. An audience is a group of people united by an experience. That is what you stop to get, that is what I want to give you. Gent, look at you, awesome. Just out for a wild night on the street with your sister. Awesome, wonderful. Okay. I know I'm a charmer, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. An audience group, people united by an experience. That is what you stop to get. That is what I want to give you. Quick note, gentlemen. We are going to be clapping during this show. If you guys clap with your hands in your pockets, you're going to damage your balls. Yeah. Right? Hands out when you clap. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Draw you guys up. From a crowd in an audience, do you guys want to come in just a couple feet over here just to fill up this space? Perfect. I've got this. This is my walking stick. I've got a dodgy hip. That's not important. What you need to know before her, she does her trick, her name is Cynthia. Everyone nice loud voice say, Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're talking to a stick. Watch what I'm going to do with the stick. I'm going to bounce it on my face. Without the stick falling, I'm going to take off my jacket. The minute the jacket hits ground, you guys clap, cheer, go absolutely wild. Then I know you're ready for the world-famous walk of death. Deal? Deal. Deal. Jesus Christ. Deal! Deal! Much better. Like I say, if we all do it together, it doesn't feel stupid. Pop the heart on the stick, bounce the stick on my face, take off the jacket, jacket hits ground. You guys go absolutely wild. We try not to kill Terry. It was Terry, wasn't it? Awesome, just for the police report. Thanks, I wrote that yesterday. Here we go. If you guys want to come in a little bit closer so I don't have to rip out a lung so you can hear me. Perfect, here we go. Actually, there's a little bit of space over on this side. Can you guys hear? Awesome. Yeah, good. You're the attractive one. You lead, they'll follow. Excellent, here we go. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Look, they did. Here we go. Bounce stick on the face, take off the jacket, jacket goes on the ground. You guys go wild. Terry almost dies. Here we go. Watch carefully. Thanks, but if you just do it by yourself, it's patronizing. Watch! Here we go. Sleeve number one. <laughs> Sleeve number one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's all right. You guys are about to find out how the Harlem Shake was invented. Thank you the one person over there that remember the Harlem Shake. Watch. <laughs> All right. Wait. Wait. Go wild! Oh, come on! All right, here you go, world famous walk of death. Terry, can you scoot your ass to the end of the towel? What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it down, it's going to be like a pillow. I need you to lie straight down, I'll pop that underneath your head. Excellent. Terry, legs straight out. Feet together, good. Are you married? Awesome. You just pointed at a child, Terry. I don't know what's happening. You his wife? What's your name? Emma. Emma. Terry, can you do me a massive favor? Use your hands to protect Emma's investment. <laughs> your wallet's great. Look at you being hilarious. Good lad. You stay right there, legs right there. Terry, you are going to get the best view in the world for the world famous Walk of Death. The Walk of Death uses these. These are... Hi. Specially weighted juggling clubs designed to be thrown and caught. I'm going to stand here, I'm going to start juggling, and then I walk over Terry. When I get to the end, I do a fancy little double thing. Catch, that's the end of the trick. You guys want to see me do this? Say yeah! Yay! Awesome! It is at this point I have to say, for legal reasons, what you're about to see is considered 100% safe. Terry! <laughs> <laughs> Terry! Yes, dear. <laughs> yeah, you, you get a good shot. <laughs> Is she filming you for YouTube or OnlyFans? <laughs> Just trying to figure out how much money to ask for this. Terry, be honest. Do you feel 100% safe? Yes, do you know what that means? You're stoned, Terry. Watch, everybody over on this side, two steps in, if that's okay, so we don't block up the street. Look, I said you in, in, you moved out, that was amazing. You guys can come in a little bit closer, if that's all right. Perfect, over on this side, can you guys in there, over here, just come in a little bit more, so it's a bit more unified. Here we go. These are razor-sharp 12-inch machetes. That is right, ladies, this is what 12 inches actually looks like. <laughs> Look at you finally getting a positive frame of reference. A single slow with a machete, I easily lose a finger, sever an artery, or kill Terry. 
Now, because this is so dangerous, Terry's going to need some emotional support. This is how you help out. I give the blades one tap. You give us one clap. Yep, together if we can manage it. I know you guys are having fun looking hard, but believe it or not, they're all having a lot more fun than you are just joining in. Have fun joining. One clap. Yep, adorable, find your rhythm. One clap. All right, white people, you're embarrassing me. If you did not like that joke, you're white, get over it. I did. It's just a stupid joke. One, tap! Good! Louder! If you do not clap, I throw these at you. Faster! Good. Awesome. Everyone, stop. Stop. That is exactly the energy we need to get through this. Final safety check from your head, okay, Terry? One, yeah, you guys are going to die. <laughs> you guys can take two big steps back. Awesome. That's, that's good. Yeah. You call that a joke, I call it sexual assault. I call these an audience, the police call them witnesses. What? As soon as I get over Tom Terry, assuming he survives, that is the end of the trick. I do not want to patronize you. I know you know how this works. At the end, I'm going to be holding out this bag. Come forwards, toss something in there. I personally believe for bringing you the world famous walk of death, my show is easily worth 50 pounds uh, no. each. <laughs> Shut up. Um, 20 pounds if you think I'm sexy. <laughs> Terry? <laughs> Let's not forget who's holding the knives here, Terry. <laughs> 10 pounds. At the end of the day, I'm showing you something different. More importantly than that, I have made you laugh. Whether that be with me or at me, that's worth 10 pounds. If you ain't got 10, 5, 6, 7, whatever you're happy to give. If you have nothing to give, don't worry. I've been there. There's an ATM right over there. Hasn't moved in weeks. If you genuinely can't be bothered with the walk at the end of the show, just take out your phone. Open up the camera app, do not take a picture. Point it directly at this QR code, it'll take you straight to my bus stop. You can pay me online. That's right, I'm modern. All right, boom, money speech done. I hate doing it, it kills the energy dead, but if I don't do it, I don't eat. Ladies and gentlemen, the grand finale of the world famous Walk of Death. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you see what I mean about energy? You talk about money and it vanishes like a fart in the wind. Oh! You! Ready! Yeah! All right, here we go. A little bit of nice, loud encouragement. Everyone join in. Wow, we forgot that big fast, didn't we? One clap! Good! Hi, you in here. If you do not clap, I throw these at you. You are a millennial, aren't you? Faster. A little bit louder. Here we go. Everybody keep that going. Watch. Keep clapping. One, two, three. Yeah, good. Cool. Stop. Everybody stop. I'm now juggling razor sharp knives over a very sensitive area of Terry's anatomy. Terry. Would this be a good moment to talk about that 20 quid? Is that no? Hands where I put them. Calm down, nobody noticed. I like to think you're paying a bit more attention now. Terry, stare straight up into the air. Straight up into the air. I promised you the best view in the world for the world famous walk of death. This is it. Raise the sharp knives uh, flying inches away from your face. This is followed very quickly by the worst view in the show. I'm so sorry, Terry. <laughs> yes, come on! Wait! 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 If you leave now, you bring shame upon your families. Ladies and gentlemen, Terry, I'm going to give you a hand up. Thank you so much for helping me. Yeah, fine, all right. My name is Mr. Freak. This is genuinely what I do for a living. I come out to the street. 
give you guys a little bit of something different, a little bit of something weird. Please help keep me out on the street below, right along. Toss something in the bag. Have a great day. Stay safe. Give me money. Thank you very much. I'm going to stay right here. Thank you so much for your help.